Okay, this is going to be part three of my um, hot water radiator um, circulation system. And um, I'm actually saving $55 a month over what I had done in January. We've had some pretty darn cold weather for Atlanta. And um, this, is, this is what I did, and it's really, it's, it's a good savings. Uh, the, uh, anyway, let me explain a little bit about the way this thing is. is. This is an evaporator coil that would normally be used on an air conditioning system. Well, the way it's designed is, uh, is it has copper tubes which run down through you can't really I mean you can kind of see the shadow of them but you can't see the tubes but you can see where they're at and the the uh, the gray is the aluminum and the aluminum fans are are uh, are you know tightly uh, basically the the copper tubes are are uh, run through the fins very tightly and it allows it allows the aluminum to transfer that heat from the copper tubing uh, and then when your air flows through then you've got your 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 heat transfer okay so basically uh, I've got my fan over here which which blows out pretty warm air we've got here uh, 119 degree air, okay, 120. All right, and over here we got 65, 60. Well, yeah, let's just say 65 degree air. Okay, so you know it does a pretty good job, uh, saving 55 dollars a month. Uh, over what I was doing, then that that in you know that's uh, taking my my gas bill and my electric bill combined and and subtracting the difference between using a 1500 watt space heater, sometimes two 1500 watt space heaters. Actually, uh, bought this watt meter, which um, let me just show you what this thing will do. It'll just take a minute. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, here I know. All right. I got a. I got a space heater back in here, cause I don't always keep this bathroom warm. Sorry about the mess. Okay. Um, let's take this thing. We're gonna plug it in. Okay. We're gonna turn this on. This is my, my little space heater for my. Um, Thing here now I'm gonna reset it. Okay, reset. There we go. It says rest. So now it's reset. So we're gonna go to menu, and then we're gonna go. That's cost. So we're gonna go up from there. That's what it. Let's see. That's what it. That's what it's cost so far. It's 13 cent already. Okay, the cost for a day running this thing is three dollars and twelve cent cost for a week is twenty one dollars twenty two dollars and it's going up 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 and this is per week okay now a month right now this is what we're running at to use that space heater for a month now that's just the space heater and look at it go it's warming up it's getting hotter and hotter and that bill is climbing. Now that's for using a space heater. Okay. Now that's why I did it. So that's crazy. I, I ain't doing that. That's 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 a space heater. That doesn't even keep this place warm. And uh, turn that back off. It's good for uh, it's good for heating up my bathroom when I'm about to take a shower. But I'm not going to use that thing all the time anyway. Uh, this works a lot better for me, and uh, I, I, you know, uh, this can be installed 
in an, in an air conditioning system. Now, this, this is not going to, I mean, although this would do maybe, you might be able to do a thousand square feet, possibly, possibly 1,500 square feet if it was hooked into a central, a, uh, central system. It, it's not going to do a whole house because I mean, maybe if you had two of these and a dedicated water heater, uh, I honestly don't know that there's going to be the savings if there. If you're, if well, pro the problem is, is if you're trying to do, uh, if you're trying to do a whole house with one of these things, then uh, you're going to be running. First of all, you're going to be running out of hot water. Uh, you, if you got two or three people in the house at bathing, and uh, there's going to be times you're not going to have enough hot water, so you're probably going to have to add a hot water heater. Now, there's going to come a point where this system's not going to be a viable alternative because, you know, the, pro the problem is that you're going to be running out of hot water, plus you might even have to add one. This is a good space heater solution, and I think that uh, if you're just if you have a small area that you're trying to keep warm, and which is what I'm doing, I don't try. I'm not so far. I'm not trying to keep the whole house hot because uh, I, you know, this place is under construction. The upstairs is unlivable. I bought this place as is, and I've got 400 about 450 square feet here, and I already had hot water. And um, now I'm just using more of it. So that's why I think it works. So anyway, I hope you like my videos. I hope I explained a little bit better. Uh, basically, uh, I, I, would, I would recommend not to buy one of these things new. Uh, I mean, these things are, I mean, air conditioning companies toss these things and, and take them to recycling places every day. Uh, they, you know, they get old, they get leaky. I mean, they do get, le you don't want one with that leaks, but I mean, a lot of times uh, people are updating that their, their compressor went out or something like that, and, and they're just updating the system, and they're tossing these things out every day. So, uh, I mean, you should be able to get one of these for, give an air conditioning guy $15, and he'll hand it to you. Here you go. So anyway, uh, that's my videos. I hope you like it. Thank you.